Kazakhstan has traditionally been associated with large reserves of natural resources. Kazakhstan is known as a food producer and is one of the most important suppliers of grain and flour to the markets of many countries in Asia. Oil, uranium, copper, and zinc have always been the well-deserved pride of Kazakhstan's mining industry. All this was made possible thanks to the policy of reforms, the implementation of which in Kazakhstan was part of the strategy to increase the competitiveness of its economy in a very difficult geographic environment. Kazakhstan is a country located in the center of the vast continent of Eurasia. This means that we are far from the main seaports. In English, this is called a landlocked country. Moreover, 30 years ago, we were part of the Soviet Union with its planned economy and closed borders with the region's main neighbors, China and the Islamic world. The right and timely strategic choice was an important part of the entire development of Kazakhstan over the years of independence. In the 1990s, it was a successful and timely transition to the market. In the 2000s, it was transport corridors and an innovative development strategy. In the mid-2010s, this was the beginning of the work of the Astana International Financial Center. In this regard, the AIFC is the next important step in the development strategy of Kazakhstan. This is the transition of the economy to a qualitatively different level of interaction with the global economy, one which goes beyond the implementation of only trade relations. It should be borne in mind that appropriate conditions are essential for making mutual investments and maintaining interaction between individual elements of the world economy. These conditions are provided by financial centers, the largest of which operate on the basis of English law. Historically, the Anglo-Saxon world was characterized by a greater degree of economic freedom while ensuring mutual obligations. The entire system of English law was focused both on ensuring the freedom of movement of capital and on providing guarantees of their stability. Few people in the modern world can envision the creation of an international financial center with the English system of law. To do this, you need to have a global perspective, understand the benefits for the country, and have a deep strategic thinking, all of which are traits of the first president of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. Over the past years, we have become convinced of the need for a long-term perspective of effective and sustainable institutions and have carefully studied the world experience of creating, operating, and developing financial centers in the world, including Dubai, Singapore, Hong Kong, and other centers. The Kazakhstan model of the AIFC embodies the best practices of these structures. Казахстан имеет амбициозную программу 2050, цель которого войти в 30 самых развитых государств. Для этого нам нужны темпы роста не менее 7%. А для этого нужны инвестиции, особенно внешние, прямые иностранные инвестиции, внутренние инвестиции. И правительству и нам всем надо об этом думать. Поэтому работа только началась. Еще предстоит большая работа вместе с коллегами, которые здесь выступали, и другими, которых здесь нет, продолжать работать. Мы будем поддерживать. Я лично постоянно буду поддерживать работу центра. The AIFC is the development of a global idea that was defined and formulated at the very beginning of Kazakhstan's independence. Kazakhstan's path is to approach international standards, focus on the best world practices, overcome geographical isolation in the center of the continent, and position the country as an influential intermediary and an honest broker in international relations and in the global economy. И наш международный финансовый центр отныне находится в действии. Together, this should ensure the competitiveness of Kazakhstan, turning its position in the center of the Eurasian continent into a strategically advantageous one, a crossroads of trade routes and the direction of capital movement. AIFC consists of several divisions. These are IAC, AIFC Port, AFSA, AIX, AIFC Expat Center, AIFC Professionals. To date, the number of companies registered in the AIFC is about 500. This is undoubtedly an indicator of the fruitful work and development of the Astana International Financial Center. In the future, this number will only increase. 
The first top manager of the Astana International Financial Center, Mr. Kairat Nematovich Kedimbetov, believes that in the next five to seven years, there will be a new stage in the development of the AIFC and the development strategy before 2030. Kazakhstan добился огромных успехов предыдущие 20 лет благодаря тому, что привлек большие инвестиции. Сегодня во всем мире идет конкуренция за эти инвестиции. И создание Международного финансового центра Астана – это казахстанский ответ, как нужно с большей конкурентоспособностью привлекать прямые и портфельные иностранные инвестиции. Для нас очень важна поддержка первого президента Ельбасы, Нустана Бищина Назарбаева. Он является почетным председателем Совета по управлению МФЦА. Я уже говорил, что в 2015 году он впервые анонсировал эту идею. В 2017 году были внесены изменения в Конституцию. То есть достаточно короткие сроки внести изменения в Конституцию, возможно, только благодаря политической воле первого руководителя. И дальнейшее развитие МФЦА, оно во многом будет связано с той поддержкой, которую оказывает первый президент Ельбаса Нурстанович Назарбаев. Мистер Кристофер Кэмпбелл Холт Registrator and Chief of Staff of the Court of the IFC also notes the key aspects of the development of the AIFC. The AFC is incredibly important for Kazakhstan. The successful creation of the AFC, with the assistance of the world's most senior and respected experts, and in a record time, has enabled Kazakhstan to take the lead in Central Asia on setting the best possible international standards of investment infrastructure. The AFC, and in particular its court and arbitration center, rival any financial infrastructure elsewhere in Central Asia. The immediate benefits to Kazakhstan have been the significant modernization and improvement of professional standards in investment dispute resolution, regulation, and education, which have all greatly contributed to the improvement of Kazakhstan's standing as a dynamic and trustworthy investment hub. And I encourage all people to visit Kazakhstan and invest. In this regard, it becomes obvious that the decision to create an AIFC in the capital of Kazakhstan occurred on the eve of major changes in the global economy. Five years ago, no one could have known about the outbreak of trade wars, that there would be a COVID-19 pandemic, that many in the world would seriously discuss protectionism measures, or even the possibility of certain economic areas emerging in the near future. But Kazakhstan was ready for a new situation. And now, in the vast expanse of Eurasia, from London to Hong Kong, there is no international financial center with an English system of law except for the Astana International Financial Center. The decision of the first president, Nursultan Nazarbayev, to open the AIFC in the capital of Kazakhstan was made in 2015, when globalization was at its peak and when no one could imagine the depth of today's crisis. At that time, the AIFC was an element of the global financial infrastructure and a tool for development. Today, its role, especially within the English legal system, is only increasing. In the case of AIFC, the first president, Nursultan Nazarbayev, once again made a strategically important decision that was aimed at the future, one which was not related to short-term tactical tasks. This is because it is important for a statesman to have a strategic vision of the situation and make appropriate decisions.